Welcome to Captivix Connector plugin demo. My name is Rahul Maheshwari. I am managing partner at Captivix. For those who don't know us, we are digital transformation enablers. We implement e-commerce, ERP, and integration solutions to build holistic and integrated ecosystem to drive digital transformation. Feel free to visit our website for more information. Before we get started, you may want to ask yourself a few questions. Does my back office system integrates with my front office? For example, my ERP system integrates with my customer or vendor portal? Or do I even have a vendor or a customer portal to effectively serve my customers? Do I have accurate reports to make criti critical decisions? Or am I spending way too much time on spreadsheet driven processes that can be easily automated? If you feel any of those questions apply to you, there is definitely an opportunity for operational efficiency. And this plugin can be helpful. So what is CaptiveX connector plugin? This plugin integrates your web portals with your back office application. These web portals can be e-commerce solution work for B2C, or it can be a customer experience or a partner portal for B2B, or it simply can be an internal system for your sales team or your field services team to manage orders or work orders. Now, how does this plugin drive your business? This will integrate your systems and create a holistic ecosystem. Doing so will not only increase your operational efficiency and reduce cost, but will uncover new information that was never available to you before. Especially since disjointed system never gave you single source of truth. With this newfound information that can help drive innovation and drastically enhance your customer experience and get you ahead of your competition. This overall digital transformation will help drive your bottom line. So what does this plugin work with? So from a backend system perspective, it works with Microsoft Dynamics Suite. It works with Oracle, NetSuite, Sage, Salesforce as your CRM system and many more. On the web front side, it works very well with uh, WordPress, Shopify, Magento, and it can be customized to work with other CMS and e-commerce solutions as well. In this demo, I will focus on connector plugin that works with Microsoft Dynamics Business Central, previously known as Microsoft Dynamics NAV or Navision as your ERP or back office system and WordPress based e-commerce or customer experience solution on the front office side. So the way this system works is the plugin brings products, customer orders, and other information from Dynamics NAV to WordPress. Any order placed within the WordPress will automatically sync up within Microsoft Dynamics NAV. The plugin will also send customer interaction information back to NAV or any customers that you created in the process would also be synced back into Microsoft Dynamics NAV. When the order is posted and shipped using NAV or Business Central, the order status will automatically update in your WordPress based e-commerce system. This plugin enhances your customer experience and eliminates virtually all manual effort to sync up orders and customers between two different systems. Moreover, this plugin doesn't require a separate hosting as it sits where your e-commerce or your web portal sits. The plugin is secure as the data transfer are all encrypted. The plugin is extremely easy to install. It will take less than five minutes to configure the base solution and get you ready with a functioning uh, web storefront. So without any further ado, Let's get started with the demo.
as you can see, this is the WordPress uh, based e-commerce solution. Uh, we do not have any products available right now. This is the admin panel of the WordPress uh, based uh, uh, e-commerce or uh, you can say customer experience solution. So the first step is we want to install the plugin. So we'll go to the plugin and install plugin. Uh, we will add a new plugin. We can upload, choose a file, After choosing a file, I will click on the install now button. So plugin is already installed. Now we are going to activate this plugin. Now, as you can see, the plugin is activated. And the new navigation um, a tab appears that says Microsoft Dynamics NAV. I will click on that. Uh, option and you can see there are multiple fields uh, that needs to be uh, filled in for the configuration of this plugin so let's walk through each and every field and uh, we'll provide the information on those so the first thing is the integration status so this one can be uh, synced up on the real-time basis or a scheduled uh, like a regular scheduling period so this is when your uh, data gets synced up between the two systems, your WordPress e-commerce as well as your Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So I'm going to keep it real time basis right now. This is your NAV uh, where it is hosted, the URL for that. The name of the legal entity uh, within your uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV system. These are all the web services. So the first web service is the product web, web service. Then we have the orders to create new orders and to fetch the new orders within your uh, Dynamics Business Central uh, back to the uh, WordPress solution. This is your customer web services and then your create customer web services. If there is a new customer that gets created within your e-commerce or your customer experience portal, and this is being synced back into uh, Dynamics uh, Business Central or NAB. Then your login credentials for uh, Dynamics Business Central or NAB. Now, this is the field of uh, your, your storefront. So this is a separate uh, store that you're creating uh, that integrates back to your ERP solution that, okay, all the orders are coming from uh, this code. These are the entities that requires the integration. So in this case, the products and the orders. And then uh, since we already picked up the real time, this is, you can ignore that, uh, the occurrence than when you want to sync up. So we are going to save the changes of the configuration and the settings are saved. Now I will go to the product tab and we'll start synchronizing all the products. So as soon as I click on the product, uh, synchronize product button, you will see all the field names uh, of uh, the product uh, metadata that is uh, in the Dynamics uh, Business Central. And we have the option to bring in the same information into our WordPress-based e-commerce solution. So for example, the key, I probably will not import that information, uh, but if you want to, you can definitely do so. And then the SKU, I do want to, and then the description, and there are so many other pieces of information that you want to import. So for example, the unit cost, uh, I may not want to import that information because I care more about the pricing uh, when it comes to the e-commerce solution to display that. So anyways, uh, you can configure that and hit on import products. As you can see, uh, there is a progress bar and it's importing all the product information 
uh, from your uh, Microsoft Dynamics Business Central uh, to a WordPress-based e-commerce solution. Now, as you can see, all the products are imported successfully. Now we will verify whether all the products you are able to see within your WordPress solution. So I will go to products and all products and you can see all the products with the images are already being imported. With the SKU numbers, uh, their on-hand inventory uh, numbers and the pricing, everything. So this, uh, so from a back end, everything looks good. Now, from the the e-commerce front end side, I'm going to go and refresh. So as you noticed before, we did not have any products within the e-commerce solution. Now, if you refresh, here you go. So we see all these products that we recently imported, and these are ready to be. Uh, showcased and uh, the, your customers can uh, start looking at it and uh, they can uh, place orders. Add few products to the cart. So I ordered, uh, added uh, the conference table, added a pedestal and I'm going to add this black chair. Then I'm going to go and view my cart. So the prices are there, the quantities are there, and uh, we get a, the subtotal of 21, uh, sorry, 1271. And let me hit proceed to checkout. And I have all the billing details already filled in. and I'm going to place the order. As soon as I place order, the information is synced up with NAV and we got an order number from your ERP system. So 1079 is your order number and I have a total of uh, 1271.50. So let me pull in my Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. And as you remember, like we had 1078, uh, sorry, 1079. So we want to refresh it and I think we will, okay, here you go. We have the 1079, your order number. Let's click on that sales order. And here you go, all your line level details are here. So I asked for a conference, I placed an order with a conference, uh, for a conference table, the mobile pedestal and the black chair. And my subtotal is 1271. So from a back office, if I want to ship the order right now, so the order is shipped already. Let me go back to our WordPress and verify whether we got the, the same order status over here. So I go to the WooCommerce and orders. Right now you see 1079 is already being processed. So here you go. So it's shipped and it is also getting your NAP order status and everything is good to go. And from your customer standpoint, if your customer wants to check their statuses, I can go to orders and it shows the order 1079 is completely shipped with three items. This concludes our demo. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out and thank you for watching.